Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hope everybody's out there being safe. Um, for today's video, we're actually going to be taking a look at a graveyard unit. Now, what that means is that um, the unit has been deemed uh, non-functional or unrepairable. So it's in a graveyard pile for parts and to take parts out of to donate to a different system. I want to see if we can repair it or if there's actually anything wrong with the system. Let's go ahead and test it first. Um, to see if something needs to be done to this one. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just plug it in because I wanna see if there's any kind of power whatsoever to this. Open her up and power button, boop. Okay, so we do have some type of power. It's definitely trying to post. It looks like it's actually missing RAM. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we're going to first start with this. Take this off be able to get in here now. Let's go ahead and add a stick of RAM to see if we can get this to boot. All right, so I got a little stick of RAM here, DDR4. We're just gonna stick that right in there, like so. Just plug that back in there. Oh, okay, we have a picture. We got a picture, y'all, we got a picture. Okay, so with the RAM stick installed, it does read our eight gigs of RAM uh, right there. It's an Intel Core i7-7700. Um, kind of graphics with a 1050, with a 1050 in it. That's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have a drive, so let's go ahead and install a drive to see um, if we can get it working. Um, and it looks like the uh, battery's not working there. Gonna plug in our NVMe or test NVMe. Put this back in. Let's see if it boots all the way up. Can we connect to a Wi Fi? It doesn't look like we have a Wi Fi. Okay, we don't have Wi-Fi, so we have to check that. So we are missing drivers here. We're going to use an Ethernet cord for now, uh, just so we can at least see it, see if it's going to be working. See if we can get all the drivers installed. I'll be back after we install the drivers. All right, so all the drivers are actually installed now. Everything seems to be working just fine. Um, so what I'm going to do before I end up opening this up to see why there is no Wi-Fi. Um, and why the battery isn't working. I'm pretty sure there's just no battery in it, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and run uh, a couple of benchmarks. We're gonna run Superposition um, for a little while, and then we're gonna run Prime afterwards. So that way we can kind of get an idea if to see if the graphics card is fine, if the, um, if the um, RAM and CPU are fine. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll be back after it finishes up. Okay, so after 35 minutes of Prime 95 and a few uh, superposition runs, um, it's passed all the tests so far. So the next step is to see um, if the battery is actually missing and if the Wi-Fi card was removed. I assume since this wasn't the graveyard card that um, they probably harvested parts off of it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see if they're if they're missing or if maybe they're just unplugged. They turn out to be missing, we should be able to replace them. So let's go take a look.
a little difficult because I can't I can't see from where I'm at right now very well. Um, okay. All right, that comes off just like that. Okay, so we can see here, and I'll turn this around, that the Wi-Fi card was removed. So we're gonna have to replace that. Um, there's another RAM slot here, so awesome, upgradability. Um, there is the battery. The battery is unplugged. Um, so we're gonna just plug that back in. Oh wow, there is actually something else unplugged here. The charging port, look at that. The charging port is barely plugged in. I wonder where that is. Um, and this, obviously we're gonna have to replace. We're gonna look for one of those later on and replace that. For now, we're gonna plug in this battery because I'm curious to know if this battery actually works. Okay, so we're gonna put the lid back on. Not tightly, because we are going to go ahead and test to make sure that this actually works. And we'll put the, our NVMe back in, because I wanna see that the battery does charge. And to plug it in and We're gonna see, there is an amber light there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but an amber light just showed up, which means it's charging. Um, we're gonna go ahead and boot into the BIOS. I wanna see if the uh, BIOS sees it. It, it. it says zero, but it does look like it, it's maybe charging. So I think then we should let it leave it plugged in for a little bit and see if it charges up a little bit. Um, and then we'll come back to see if it works. All right, everyone, it looks like this is still a perfectly working laptop. Um, yes, it has a little cosmetic problems here and there, but nothing that can't be fixed by just replacing the part. Um, I really hope that this ends up in somebody's hands that is gonna use it. I definitely enjoyed playing Destiny 2 on it uh, for the little time that I, that I spent on it. Um, and I really, really hope that the owner of this sells it and um, gives it to somebody that, that's gonna enjoy it instead of just putting it back in a pile of junk. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure that you hit that like button, make sure that you share the video. It does help out the channel, and I definitely appreciate uh, you watching. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.